Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to save images or any media files on Behance in high quality. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple. And the reason that um, this video exists is because there isn't actually an, an official way to natively download or save any um, media files or pictures on Behance um, on the platform. So we're going to use a third party tool to do this and I'll be giving you guys some tips on how you can um, improve the image quality or um, save it as a lossless um, version of the photo. So the idea is you guys would first want to log into your Behance profile as an administrator. So as you can see, here's what my dashboard looks like. And the idea is you want to navigate around the um, gallery or your feed to see uh, which photos you'd like to um, save a copy of or import into your personal projects. So to do so, you guys would want to select your photo first, as you can see. So let's say that I want to um, <clears throat> do a presentation about um, sand, I guess. So this photo would look really good. So I'm going to click on it like so. And the idea is um, instead of clicking on save right here, we're going to click on share. And then we're going to copy the link for it. Not this one. Embed code is something else. So we're going to copy the link and we're going to go to this website right here, which is Behance Downloader. So the URL for this is uh, locoloader.com slash Behance Downloader. And the idea is you simply want to paste the link that we copied um, over from Behance to here. And then um, what's going to happen is this website is going to generate a download link for the picture that we just or rather the <clears throat> the photo that we just copied so as you can see um I, I think it's actually an entire gallery that's why oh yeah it's a, it's an entire gallery so here you go as you can see you can download them and <clears throat> i recommend that you guys download it, them in this format png because png is actually used in photoshop and it's actually in lossless quality so that's pretty cool and yeah that's basically how you guys do it so hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. So yeah, thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.